Hi, welcome to this Expert Talk Smart Flows for Microsoft Dynamics 365 feature highlight video. I'm Owen from Expert Doc, and in this video, I'll zoom into the feature that gave the product its name, namely the Smart Flows. A Smart Flow is in fact an automated document generation and delivery process. It starts from a trigger, usually the click of a command button in the Dynamics 365 user interface, or a workflow, or a custom code execution. Then it collects data from sources across and beyond Dynamics 365 and or user input and it generates one or more documents. It stores the documents in Dynamics SharePoint or local storage and then delivers them to the intended recipient through the channel of choice or passes them through a review and approval process first. So let's illustrate how you can build and run such a flow. I'm starting the building process in the ExpertDoc SmartFlows project console where I create a flow and give it a name. In this case, I want to create a flow that creates a quote and sends it through an approval process if the total amount is higher than a certain value. I'll also select a principal ExpertTalk template that I want to use in this flow. That's the Sunlimo Solar template right here. As I take it to the flow builder, ExpertTalk has already created a large part of the flow for me. The trigger has been set to be click in the Dynamics 365 UI and the data collection zone of the flow retrieves data from one or more selected records based on the data set of our template. And obviously, we generate a document with the selected template. If I select one of these flow steps, I can change the step settings. I can, for instance, change the name of the generated document and I can make that name dynamic if I want to, for instance, by including the name of the account that is the potential customer for this quote. Now we can go on and add more document generation steps, or we can define how we want to store and deliver the generated document. So let's do that, and let's also build some conditional logic into the flow. To build logic into a flow, you can insert controls, such as conditions, switches, or try catch blocks. I'll go for a condition here that checks if the total amount of my selected quote is greater than 50,000 euros. Next up, in the true branch of my condition, I'm going to create a Microsoft Dynamics 365 email activity to ask the related account manager for approval of the quote. I can go into the settings of the email step and select the account manager as the intended email recipient. I'm also adding a subject line here and some body text for the email. By the way, I can also populate the email body via an other expert doc template, but for now, just some text will do. In the false branch of my condition, we'll add a DocuSign block to deliver the quotation directly to the potential customer and present it for signing. In the DocuSign settings, you can select the outputs the flow should return and some more settings like the DocuSign connector to use, the subject and the message for the email that DocuSign will send. You can also select a brand identity if you have multiple of those to use and so on. An interesting option is the tick box you see over here to keep the flow execution in a waiting state until all signers have taken action. We'll tick that box for this flow and create a note in Dynamics in the related quote record with the signed document once the document has been signed. So to attach the signed document to our note block, we'll link it to the send to DocuSign step. We'll just add the signed document instead of the envelope ID here as the note attachment. And let's also select a connector and give the note a title and some content. Okay, that's it. The flow is ready for use. So let's take it for a spin now. Okay we can run or execute the flow we created from any quote record in Dynamics. 
I've got a list view over here with two quotes as you can see, one with a total amount of under 50,000 euros and one with a total amount of over 50,000 euros. So that's a good setup to test our condition, right? So let's start with the one over 50,000 and run the smart flow we've just created via the export of smart flows command in the command bar. So for this one, we expect that it will generate a quote document and email it to the account manager for approval. So there we go. The output of the flow is a link to download to generate a document and a link to open the email that has been created. So let's follow that one. And as you can see, there's the email and it's from the current user to the account manager with a generated document attached. So here's the document. Now if we run the same flow for the other record, the one with a total amount of less than 50,000 euros, then we'll see that the flow will take the other branch of the condition and delivers the document via DocuSign to the potential customer. So that's what happens indeed. So you can see the flow is currently in a waiting state. So let's open up the inbox of our potential customer and as you can see, we have indeed received an email from DocuSign. So let's go through the signing procedure now. Okay, so once our customer has finished signing, the flow should continue. So let's have a look. And so there you go. The flow execution process resumes when it gets message feedback from DocuSign that the signers have all taken action. So it should have also created a note now in Dynamics 365 against the triggering quote record that contains the signed document. Let's have a look if that happened. Well, there's our note with the signed document attached. So that's basically how you can create a flow to generate and deliver a document with some conditional logic and have the signed document flow back into Dynamics 365. If you want to deliver the document using another e-signing provider or have the resulting document flow into SharePoint or local storage instead of Dynamics 365 instead, you can do so too. It's just a matter of dragging the right blocks onto the Flow Builder canvas.